Hello everyone, this is Mike Gutierrez, the retired farmer, and today it's a bright sunny day, and since I haven't done a video in a while, I decided to give you an update. And here is Lammy. He has grown. He has got freckles in his face. But he's like full grown already. He has his little horns coming out. Hi, Lammy. <laughs> and that is the uh, cousin and the mother of the cousin. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the new things that have come out since uh. the last video. A lot of weeds have come out. Oh yes, I, uh, I changed my truck. Uh. I downsized a little. I uh, have a Ranger now. <clears throat> Very uh. nice, but uh, a little smaller than, than the F-150, but I don't really need something that big anymore. So let me show you what else we got. Since it's the middle of July, this is a known time. This tree has a bunch of them. <clears throat> which I have to keep an eye on because soon they're going to be falling off if we don't pick them. Even the little trees have some. So that's one good thing. The bad thing is that after the rains, all the weeds in the world come out to play. The barn is about the same. Nothing much has happened on this end, although I did build a, uh, an addition here so that we could have some uh, shade. And I did a little counter to eat. <clears throat> and I uh, did a, a sink so we could have some water to clean up. And I put a um, barbecue there and a couple of shade trees, some mendras that eventually those, those grow really fast so that we can have some extra shade. And I also extended the, the section for the chickens because they, they didn't have much. So now they have a little more grass to play in once I let them loose every morning. And also to keep the grass cut, I sometimes let the lambs in this section here. And they take care of the mowing. Need to be let out. Oh my god. Come on guys. Oh, I guess they're happy to be out. And I have two new additions, these, these two uh, uh, guinea uh, birds. They uh, just appeared one day and started hanging around and I fed them and fed them and then eventually they just went in and another part of the farm. Also restocking because I sold so many uh, quails that I didn't have that many left. I even have one white one with dark spots which is very cute. So these are almost uh, grown. I sold up to I think like 70 of them. So I was running low and I just put some batches in the uh, incubator and got some more. Another new improvement that I made was that I bought this uh, shade fabric and built this structure under my um, vegetable garden. So that I can just uh, mitigate the heat a little bit because the heat here is brutal and we're in uh, July 15th or so. And I, I want to know if uh, the trees don't grow in July and August here because of the heat or because of the scorching sun. Uh, right now it looks like it's both. You take the scorching sun away but the heat is still too suffocating for for trees so but we'll see maybe I'm wrong these are my um, mamoncillo trees this one is a chirimoya but these two are mamoncillos 
And these five have mamoncillos here, six. And some mangoes sprinkled in. I'm going to uh, figure out some kind of a um, mamoncillo grove somewhere and plant them all together and see what happens. But I haven't figured out where I'm gonna do it yet. Because I have to provide sprinklers and I don't have many areas where I, that are covered by sprinkles yet. But we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. So everything is growing. There's more uh, chicks here. There are my fish. I still have like nine left that I haven't eaten. I have bananas everywhere if, you, if anybody wants a banana. Like these. And there's a bunch of... Oh, there's another one in there. If you go in there, you'll find all kinds of goodies. I very rarely venture in that. There's like a forest in there. But every once in a while I have to go in and, and clear and take some of the dead leaves out and, and the vines. and It's a never ending thing. You, you can never uh, be ahead of, of, the, of the weeds. They always win. But you do what you can. And that's one of the things I do every morning when I get here. I just walk around my domain and I uh, just uh, reflect and recharge and before I start working. If it wasn't for the annoying bang of the, of the sheep that take all the, all the, uh, the peace away, these, these are some of the avocados, that someone will be ready. Growing among the, uh, the weeds. There's some more over here. This section needs to be cut again and weeded. I'm waiting for a new weed eater that I bought that I thought I had bought and evidently I canceled and I've been waiting for it and then I realized when I went to check in that, that I had canceled the order, so I put it in again and hopefully in a couple of days it'll be here. It's a battery weed eater for these big, these big uh, grasses. You cannot cut with a, uh, with a string weed eater because they just laugh at you. So, but I will have the last laugh. And this section here, I'm readying to plant some more trees. So maybe, maybe my mamoncillo um, grove will be somewhere around here. Because these sprinkles will go all the way up to there. So I have all this section that I can plant. So, like right now, it's rainy season, you don't need sprinklers. But in the dry season, you depend on them. If not, the trees die. Can't do anything unless you have sprinklers first. So here's uh, some uh, maize that are coming along. I just got one huge one yesterday from that tree over there. These these uh, plants love to be protected from the wind. Like this one here, gets a little wind from, from that direction. And you can see that in this section here, there's not even a branch growing. So you need to protect them from both, every side. So uh, I may have to uh, replace this wall with a wall of trees. Maybe plant some more around here to, to create another wall. So this is what we have. This has been the improvements and the uh, not so improvements because look at all these weeds. It's just crazy. You can't keep up. I would have to live here and, and work eight hours a day on it. Yeah, I refuse. 
All right, so this is it, and a little uh, update on how we're doing. We're still going. This is all work, 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 work. I need to finish the back of the barn. I have gotten some um, marching orders from the inspector general that before the hurricane season goes into high gear, I need to cover the hole in the, uh, in the back wall, which is not finished. But I need to rent a, uh, a scissor lift so that I can get up there and finish it. And then uh, as soon as I finish it, I have to paint it and do everything I need to do high up high before I return the, uh, the rental. And that's another thing that needs to be done. See? That section there, not done. And I painted all the way up to where I can paint normally with a, with a ladder. So after I put the wood, I have to paint it and then be coming down and then I should be done. But that, that, it has to go in the list of the things that need to be done and, and uh, try to prioritize it and see what happens. But in the meantime, you're up to date on everything. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.